Some news from motorsporting and IndyCar Racing is reviewing its safety standards after the death of British driver Justin Wilson. A piece of debris hit him in the head during a crash on Sunday and he never awoke from a coma. Patrick Dibell reports. 24 hours after Justin Wilson was airlifted from Pocono Raceway came the announcement no one wanted to hear. It's with profound sadness that we announced that Justin Wilson died this evening at Lehigh Valley Health Network Hospital in Allentown, Pennsylvania. The former Formula One driver was knocked unconscious by what appeared to be a nose cone from another driver's car. He died late on Monday with his family by his side. His brother Stefan, who is also an IndyCar driver, led the tributes, saying on Twitter, can't even begin to describe the loss I feel right now. He was my brother, my best friend my role model and mentor. He was a champion. You know, he was a great guy. You know, one, one of the, the few, if only, guy that really was a friend among everyone in the paddock. Wilson was an eight-year IndyCar veteran who won seven races in 174 starts. His death is the first in professional motorsports since F1 driver Jules Bianchi passed away after suffering similar injuries late last year. These Indy cars are inherently pretty dangerous, you know, with the open cockpit like that. It's one of the most dangerous forms in motorsports, and we know we go out there every day taking that risk with our head exposed. The sports safety standards are to be reviewed, but not just yet. As we know, the racing industry is one big family, and our focus now is on rallying around Justin's family to ensure that they get the support that they need during this difficult time. Wilson leaves behind a wife and two young daughters. He was 37. Patrick Dybell, TRT World. Earlier we spoke to Wilson's former Minardi teammate Alex Young and asked him if professional motorsport is too dangerous. It was a complete freak accident. Um, we hardly ever have objects hitting the helmet, even in open, even open wheel racing. But it has happened a couple of times now. And um, I'm sure, and I know the FIA are actually making a test with having can a canopy over the uh, helmet area to try and stop this happening in the future. But I think they are still trying to make it safe enough because don't forget if the car rolls um, and there's, there's damage and, and, for example, if you can't get the canopy open quickly, then you're in, a, you're in big trouble. So they need to try and find that compromise because the good thing about having an open, open cockpit is that you can always extract the driver fast. Since the mid-90s, there's been a huge upscale in the safety aspect. I, I think, um, you know, while this was a freak accident for, for Justin, um, I, I don't think it's going to be any consolation to his family, his friends. And um, we have to look at trying to make sure this doesn't happen again.